So I'm making the reddish, reddish color now. So the reddish color is going to be behind the 16. It's a little mauveish, reddish, almost looks brownish. Let's add there's many ways to achieve this color, but today let's see. Let's have a little, let's see about this red. It's a new red. Sometimes when they're new, they're a little liquid. So that's primary red. It's just a plain, plain old red. I might add a tiny bit of ultramarine blue. Just to kind of bring the moviness up. Right, because then that'll be like purple. So let's start with those colors and then I'll see if I want to add another color. So a little blue, a little red, and then a little mixing. It's not a super bright mauve color. It's kind of a nice color already. And as much as I use a little ultramarine, I do sometimes like to go back into my original main color and bring a little bit over. Just to keep this color family going. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. There's actually quite a lot of area there behind the 16. So I'm adding a little bit more of everything, I think. A little red little blue and a little white. Maybe it's more red than blue actually. So let's just do a tiny bit more red. I've seen it sometimes done a little bit browner almost. But I think I'll stop while I'm ahead. And it'll look beautiful all together. I'll show you how we're getting on. Yeah, this is darker than my template, but I just kind of am liking it today, so I'm going with it. This is, this is the thing. You can go with it. This is the beauty of yantras. So I got a kind of pinkish, smoky pink going. See? I should just paint it over my white. So there's your smoky pink. Much darker than the one I had in my template. See? I'm obviously feeling a little more vibrant with the white, pink. All right, and then there's this pale color that happens right at the center. Clean my brush out. Just like that was pale white, pale blue. This is gonna be pale mauve behind. And I'll mix this together. See how it's almost white. Just very pretty, the colors in this moon yantra. Chandra. Makes me feel happy in my belly, just making these colors. So let's see. See the two colors? This is the pinky white, that was the bluey white. Kind of gone over that there, but let me just show you here. Okay, so that's the pinky white. So here we go. I think I have all the colors now. Ah, silver. I'll mix up some silver. So here's gold, yellow, the main blue, variations on the blue for the seeds. Then we have that bluey white that's underneath here. Then pink behind the 16. Then a pinky white behind the star. I want you guys to let me know how you get on with this method of mixing the colors first. Tell me if you find it helpful or if it's really much more helpful for me to do it as I go along. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up the silver. Silver is actually a really key ingredient in this yantra because we all always think about silver and the moon. It's like the shimmering, reflective quality of silver is very lunar, changeable, always looks different from different angles. So, I'm going to mix that. And the silver, just like the gold, you add water only. And what I like to do with the silver is I like to do two coats. You'll see, it's just a little translucent. And to get a really nice shimmer, 
maybe make the silver paint a little thinner and so let's see how that looks there see how it's a little bit you can see the streaks so if I wait a moment and do it again I'll be covering over those and it'll look flat it'll look great so today the pink came out a little dark I tell you every time I do these they come out a little different and the blue is a little cool the yellow is a little cool I think it's gonna look great let's try it for another coat silver it's kind of like with all that silver how could you go wrong you know it's just so pretty see now that covers better so two coats of silver second coat is usually a bit thinner and I hope that's enough information to get you going with the colors if you get lost somewhere in the colors I want you to come back to this first part of the video and just watch this again all right so I think you're good in the center all the lines all the main lines are gold so gold ring gold ring gold ring gold star and gold bindu and of course gold around the edge all right let's see what you can do so while you're painting you can be reciting the mantra Om Cham Chandraya Namaha Om Cham Chandraya Namaha Om Cham Chandraya You can use any media you like for the painting, coloring. Okay, so you can use pencils, you can use crayons. Here I'm giving you lessons with gouache paint. I like to use the gouache. The colors sit really nice and flat on the paper. And just keep adding water to your mixture and keep washing your brush fairly often. That way you won't get glumpy, glumpy, lumpy amounts of paint on your brush and it won't be too streaky. Okay, so keep mixing your paint. If you find that your paintbrush starts to look a little scratchy as you're painting, that means you have to add a little more water into the mixture. And if the paint starts to look a little bit transparent, then maybe too much water and you might have to add a little more paint from the tube back into the mixture. So you'll, you'll see, you'll start to get a feeling for the texture, the consistency of the paint as you go. And it's just methodical, you know, you're spiraling around from the outside, you're spiraling clockwise, slowly in. And so that your hand doesn't smudge everything that you've done already. Sometimes I'll put a piece of paper there and I'll lean on that piece of paper. Sometimes it's just a little bit of a technique where you barely put any weight of your hand on the paper. You'll see sometimes I have my little finger there almost supporting me in the process. But you don't want to be smudging. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Please put comments in the comments. Comments in the comments. And please like and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. It's really my pleasure to share this work with you. And... The more specific I can be answering your questions, the better it is, right? You'll get your questions answered. If you want more information, you're also welcome to come for a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and we can discuss the yantra you might need to be working with right now. So you can contact me. My email also is going to be somewhere in my YouTube channel. Please contact me. I'd love to hear from you. All right, so the moon... Let's see, what else about this moon? The moon is the mother, the cosmic mother. So what nourishes you? What mothers you? What, what's taking care of you? Feel like you're really tending to that as you paint this yantra. Listening, 
listening to what you need, listening to what you need to take care of yourself so that then you can take care of others, tuning into your own heart. And as you return to the mantra, returning to your own heart center, that softening, at the end you can gaze at the bindu, the central dot, either with your hands in prayer or one hand at your heart, and then come back to the mantra, maybe pausing now and reciting one more time. Om Cham Chandraya Namaha uh-huh.